All right. So what we're teaching her now, Joyce, it, what we're teaching her is not to run from her troubles. And she knows that when she stops, the noise stops and the pressure stops. The pressure of that jug stops when she stops. So someday when David's riding her and everything falls to pieces and the feathers start flying everywhere, maybe she'll stop rather than run off with him. Hopefully. All right. So now let's walk up there and let's re-rig here just a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, how about that? That didn't pay off for you, did it, huh? I ain't afraid of you. All right, get the jug off now. We're about to switch. Put your string through here. Put your string through that loop. You just gotta watch, he'll jump right up on top of you sometimes. So before we drag the tire, we're gonna drag this. We're just gonna make sure everything's cool. Oh, probably three or four weeks ago, I had a customer come here, been watching our videos out here on the obstacle course and he got on the horse he got on that horse and rode around the barn and rode right out back and we got this whole bunch of jugs we drag around behind the horse and he went over and grabbed those jugs and started dragging them across that obstacle course <sighs> and that horse just did it perfect and I thought to myself fella I just wouldn't do that everywhere you went but, you know we had done our homework and he went out there and just took those jugs and drug them like he just wanted to see if it was possible. Well, in the wrong situation, that old boy would have got unloaded quickly. But the horse did perfect and I was sure happy about it. But notice when you get it a little closer, things change a little bit. sister. Come on. Yeah, now what you gonna do? Yeah, come on. Okay, this is our final step before we're gonna mount this horse is I just want to see how she's going to handle dragging this tire. This is a good test of integrity. Don't drag a log and don't drag anything that's going to hurt anybody because I've had these things come flying around here like a doggone bullet. If that tire hit you, it hurt, but it wouldn't kill you, I don't think. There. All right, hook it up to the shorter loop now. Okay. 
See, she's learning kicking doesn't work. She's kicking less and less because she's known that well, I can kick, but it doesn't seem to go away, so I'll just quit doing that. All right. Turn and go the other direction. Now. So she's putting her head down. She's saying, okay, whatever you want, that's fine with me. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Now what are we going to do, Grandma? Huh? Well, she, she gives you just a little bit of sass and then she quits. Sometimes they'll put their head down and buck for 10 minutes, but she's, she's not that passionate about it. I think if she bucked with you, it'd be only a couple hops. I mean, we've had them buck to where they don't stop. They don't stop until you're bucked off. But I think she's just gonna hop around just like a little idiot. Like an Egypt. Come on. Come on. Hmm? Yeah. See, I really like what I see right now. Her tails. Limp. See, she doesn't have that kink in her tail, and she's dragging it along like a farm girl now. See, heads down, and we could get the walk. She'd walk this whole circle gladly now. Because remember when we started, we said we wanted to walk the circle. She would barely do it. So let, let me get out of here, and you just see if you can get her to walk the circle, okay? And if she walks the whole circle, then I know we're done. And we're gonna get on her back. So our goal is, is for her to walk this complete circle. And do it very obediently and very softly. Just like an old farm girl out on the ranch. See there, got her head down like a milk cow, just like it's supposed to be. See there, she looks like your cow's coming in the morning to be milked. See there? Now we're talking. See there? She's had what we would call an attitudinal adjustment. Her tail's limp behind her. This horse is ready to work with now. Her, prepared, her mind has been prepared to learn today. Okay. Okay, David. Mission accomplished. All right, now Joyce, I got a few words to say and then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Go ahead and take all your stuff off, David. Leave your saddle on though. Um, these horses are ready now to mount. Both of them are relaxed. Both of them are okay with everything we put them through. Next time we do this, we might do it a little different. This is not a set pattern. This is not a, a recipe to go by. This is just ideas of being creative. Next time I might use something different. Uh, but just challenge your horse's mind, prepare their mind to learn, develop relaxation. It's not about tires and bags, it's about saying yes and not saying no. Let me repeat that. It's about saying yes and not saying no. So you can use white bags, blue bags, black bags, doesn't matter. It's just about that, teaching that horse to say yes and teaching that horse to say thank you when she's standing still. She's, she's happy to do it. So she's ready now to move on to the next level. So our next video, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get on these horses. We're gonna start doing a little mounted work.